it was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. Like a, a horse with blinkers. Honestly, say, I was about to have Corrupt. sex and then I pulled Crap, up. but it's nice. <laughs> I'm Siamtana Bingose. I'm coming from Langa High School. Um, my name is Luke. I'm in Matric at Kamsper High School. I'm 18 years old and I live in Iranisa. Hi, I'm Lita Makaina, and I, I, I come from Langa, Princeton Street, and I'm here in Grade 11, Langa High. My name is Teviso, I'm doing my trick at Camps I live in Paro. My name is Manuel and I'm 17 years old. I'm Grade 11 in Langa High School. My name is Kanyisa, I attend Camps Bay, I live in Google too, and I'm 16 years old. Ooh, hi, my name is Gabriela, the same name is Justice. I attend school here. I'm doing grade 12 and I live here in Langa. Hi, my name is Funiswa and I'm, my same name is Bambani. I'm from here in Langa High School. I live here in Langa and I'm doing grade 11. Even though we have to put apartheid behind us, the thing is it's left us with this mess and they have to actually fix it so you can't ignore it completely. Now, the government is trying through BEE and, you know, the RDP which is building houses all the time and, and you know, like the, 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 the university scores have been lowered, you know, and um, black people, obviously, black males get obviously the first choice for like certain jobs. So this is all in place here, but it seems like there's still a shortcoming somewhere and it seems like it isn't, you know, getting there yet. Do, does anyone have any ideas about why it seems like even though all these opportunities are in place, um, you know, black people still aren't reaching it yet. Yeah, I really do believe that the, um, the, the ways in which the government is dealing with um, uh, uh, most of what is our country faces is not, is, is not efficient. What, does, um, well, what is it suggesting for the black people to need lesser points? to get into university than, than, than a white, white person? Is it suggesting that a black person is, is dumber than a white person? Why not, um, base, um, why not base those results on the background of the person? What school, I mean, most black uh, students now are coming from former Model C school. Why do I need, I'm coming from Kansas Bay, why do I need lesser points if I'm, I've got the yeah. very same um, education as the, as the average white person? So I really do believe that our government, government is inefficient in that way. It's about ups, upskilling black people. It's That's the only mindset. thing, because, no, it's not about mindset. You, you can have a mindset, you know, but if you don't have the skill, you can have the mind, but you can have the mind, but you need the skills but, but because how, you need. But how do you get skills if you don't if you don't open up your minds to new opportunities? Like you can't say you want skills and not go out there to get them yourself. I mean, if you're not open-minded about something, then you, you're obviously shutting out doors that could lead to you having a success of of something. Black people don't know how to share things. Like for instance, if you have a business, like a huge business, a, a father couldn't know like. He, he wouldn't, you know, you know, like, sell his shares. He will sell his shares, not leave the shares to his family. He will sell the shares to other people. I don't know why is that. So we, we can't say that, all those things, because black people always look for money, you know. So if, if you, you're going to say they're going to build a population, which they, they, they ain't going to build one, because they're always after money, not anything else. Black people are always so dependent on themselves, mm -hmm. and so they had to look out for themselves. I mean, obviously now it's just, it's, it's also an issue of time, you know. Over time, they're gonna learn to trust the government more and trust each other more. But for now, we, they're still scared, I think. I think, I, think, I think they're still scared of, you know, how in the past they had to only look out for themselves because no one else would look out for them. So I think maybe over time it'll improve. I do agree with Luke that um, the 500 years of segregation cannot be replaced in, a, in, in just 18 years. But the only problem with our government is that it's too promising to our people. And, that, and what that causes virtually is for the people to draw back and depend too much on the government to do stuff for them. Back in the times, a black person was striving to survive, you know, because it was hard in those days. But now they've got a chance, but now they choose to exploit it, you know. It goes back to mindset. Mm. If you're given an opportunity, don't play with it. Don't, don't sit there and say, okay, this is what the government is doing for me. I'm just going to receive. You also have to give to, to receive. It has to be a give and take kind of thing. In our schools, if you see a black child, there are those who like, okay, I'm after it. I'm going, I'm getting code seven. After, and there's that child who's left behind, like say, okay, I'm getting code one and th all of those stuff. He's like, I'm going to drop out. I can't do this anymore and go outside and banking classes, you know, smoking. So we can't actually solve this thing. It's, uh, it's a matter of your, your knowledge or how you work and how your parents raise you. It's that just, thing depends on you. 
If you want to grow up and be something, even if you're grading code one, you will do something about it. It's either you drop school and find yourself a job at which you'll make a living out of it. Or you look for extra help. Work hard for you to get there because you can't get there. Even if you are this low graded person, you're getting called one. The thing is, it's up to you to think which point am I good at? You see, just figure out at your strength and then work on the strength. Fight hard on the strength and then I'm telling you, you will make it. There's a guy which lives in Bukuletu, but I forgot his name. He's a drawer. He's not educated, but the thing is he found that he can draw when he was still in school doing grade eight. He was just drawing. The thing, the teacher just came to him and said, wow, you can draw. And then the teacher arranged something that this guy must go, may go to a drawing school. Speaking right now, if you can go to Cape Town Museum, you will see his pictures. You keep on telling that you have to go for something that you, you want. And children are, are getting bored about that because sometimes children, like, they don't look like, sometimes, like, I can, I can get bored about that because maybe I want to be a designer because I know some, I, I don't have to go through education for that. So I can just drop at school and just go and draw things, things like, things, you know. Actually, I have to admire our government in that when they came into power, they were a bunch of freedom fighters, and now all of a sudden they've got these positions. Someone's going to be the minister of health, and someone's going to be the minister of traffic affairs. And I mean, like, but they've never done this before. And you know what? The country didn't die. So that is actually amazing because they 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 pulled it together and they've done something. Yes, now they're new, so they make all these big promises because they think that they have all these resources. But surprise, they actually don't. So now they're learning. They're learning, and um. I think what you were saying is that like, you know, obviously like you said, you've got the same education as me, why do you need lesser points and all that kind of stuff. It's almost like we, we're saying like, you know what, um, we, we, want, we want to make black people in general self-sufficient, stand on their own two feet. But what, what often happens, like you said, is that they give all these opportunities, but now, like in reality, in, in, a normal, in a normal circumstance, no one ever gives you a house. And so that gives people a false idea of like, you know, how hard do I actually have to work? Suddenly the points have been lowered. I don't have to work as hard anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like um, now when they get in into the real world, where they've got their house, they've got their low university points, and they have to actually work at the same standard as everybody else. But they haven't been, they're not used to that. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big problem. Like, I mean, I don't know what an alternative is, but um, yeah, it's just a fact. Um, people are, are concentrating on, on, on making the country a better place. But how is it going to be a better place if you find that the politicians are fighting Within um, the, 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 the within themselves, you find that Jacob Zuma is um, is fighting with, and you find you find that Jacob Zuma and versus it's Jacob Zuma versus um, um, no, it's this, who's this? Yeah, Helen's. Uh, um, they they do not the, that man and that woman don't get along. They will never get along. But and that what what they what they are teaching us as as the leaders, what they are teaching us is that. White people and black people should, should not get along because you find that Helen Zill is saying this about white people and Jacob Zuma is saying, the, is saying this about black people. Jacob Zuma and, and, also, and also Julius Malema is, is always talking about um, apartheid that um, black people, um, white people did this and this to, to, to our people. And so how, um, so, so, so I'm saying that there's Mostly, um, the, 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 the people that people that run our country are the people that also destroy our country. Helen Zilla made a comment that 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 was saying um, the, the the people from the Eastern Cape are actually refugees when 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 they come in in in, in um in in, in 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 the Western Cape because because um they're actually looking for the for a better education and it is a fact because actually. There actually is um there isn't a better a, a, a education when you come to um the rural the rural areas because there is no um the, the when you talk okay, when you're um, talking about schools. I know that Helen was trying to raise a point, but she didn't um quite raise the point in a in a fair way because it's because people took it took it as if she was making a joke. How can you say how can you say on te uh, on television that um black people um uh, the black pe um people from the Eastern Cape are, are, are like refugees? How but, but how is that? Ask, do you oppose do you or do you oppose when when say a health minister would say that um you must eat beetroot and whatnot to cure AIDS? Do you do you oppose? Do you, do you think that is a it's like it's like how is it I don't I don't know how to explain this but like she's saying that she was making a point by saying that we are refugees the black people in, in the Western Cape but Eastern, I mean, yeah in the Eastern Cape but like is it is it is it really such a big thing that you can't think about the fact that our president will say 
a shower after sex is, will cure AIDS. Like, mm. it, it, is it really yeah, that much of a? I'm just like I'm just I'm just trying to put like something. You know what I'm saying? Like, is it is it because are you saying that because it's a white person who said that, or is it because no, it's a matter of how she said it. You know what the thing is? Um, there's there's two things about Helen's, and I just answer that. First of all, she is a politician. All politicians want votes, mm. but that's just the one side of it. The second thing is that um. I, and this is my feel, is that I really think that she is, and I'm speaking completely unbiased, that she is a remarkable woman, in that she um, she has, I mean, you know, just out of interest, I, I used to go on Twitter a lot, and I used to follow her on Twitter because I wanted to see what she was doing. Mm -hmm. And she tweets all the time about what she's doing, you know, the latest conference she attends, and she, and she, she only has control over the Western Cape. And you constantly see people from the Eastern Cape and this and that, like tweeting to her saying like, you know, can't you come help us here? And she goes, I'm sorry, I can't. You know? The ANC wouldn't let um, Helen Zile rule or, or take part in, 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 in other countries because, because she is Helen Zile, because Helen Zile is actually taking part here in Western Cape and they actually don't want Zile to be part of, of, of the other country because they know if Zile takes part in the other country, she will actually get more votes and she will become the, 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 the president. Le, le, wait, 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 wait. She, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Just for a second, imagine a country that, that is ran by, by, by Helen Zille. You are taking what? Zille as she is. You are judging her because she is white, not knowing that what change would she bring in the South Africa. And one thing about uh, politicians you should know is that they use propaganda every time. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. if they know the election time is near, they'll go out, mm -hmm. do anything, yeah. do good things. Mm -hmm. Like when it was election time, back in Kailichi there were no toilets. Brazil stood up and made toilets. People voted. First so the thing you must understand, for them to be where they are today, they did something like in dying seconds. I disagree with your statement um, because I feel that um, that's the beauty of democracy, for us to be constantly criticizing the government. And we have opposition parties there to do that for us because we cannot have a ruling party without criticism. It, it, it seems like you have some sort of hurt, not hate, hurt, hurt, towards Helen Zilla, just because those two words sound similar and they mean very different things. But, um, you know, it's it, okay, so we're all in school, so we all relate to the term education. I remember she, because um, she, one thing she was pushing for, and this is a fact, she was pushing for, for um, dis, um, disadvantaged community schools. She was, she was trying to get them out of the, you know, like, like lift them up. And she actually presented a fact that um, this year, like, as opposed to last year, I think there's 78 um, disadvantaged schools just in like a certain area in the Western Cape or in the Western Cape. There's 78 schools that you were talking about, but all dis in dis disadvantaged communities. And out of those 78 schools, um, I think overall, 54 of them were all failing in terms of their matrics. Overall, the matric grade was failing. But she's brought that number down to about 28. So, you know, she really is, it's like she's, she, she, she is pushing for everybody. My dream is to see South Africa a, a, a rainbow nation as it is right now. My dream is that uh, for, the, for our government to work more harder and improve on certain barriers which, can, which uh, a bit affect us at some point. My dream is to see the youth of today not looking back but looking forward and thinking what can we do to make our future better. My dream is that um, as we as the youth and try to the youth to try and to make a change for our, for us to be able to learn to for our future to be brighter and also to focus on the positive stuff, not on the negative stuff that's been happening. Um, I believe democracy is fictional, and I believe that there needs to be a change in perception for both black and whites, and I believe that's the way forward. That's my dream. Okay, my dream is to like okay, see a black person, a, a white person coming to Langhai to you know to to get some education. My dream is to succeed as an actor. Once I've created a name and a reputation for myself, I would love to no, I would strive to change the selfish and single-minded mindset of the upper class international people. My dream is to see our leaders um um being uh. Is, is, is to see our leaders stop um, having to um, being corrupt because they totally being corrupted and um, being being them co corrupted it also affects us as the youth and us as 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 as, as the coming youth. Mm -hmm.
You should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create a straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel strong Listen what is right and say what is wrong You should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create a straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel strong Listen what is right and say what is wrong